If you're ready to sit your assessment remotely using NCFE's Remote Invigilation platform, this short guide will help you understand what to expect and how to set yourself up for the on-screen assessment. You should have already by now have had a conversation with someone at your centre about whether you're comfortable sitting your assessment remotely, as you will be recorded during the on-screen assessment and will be expected to use your own devices to sit and record the assessment. You should have also already had sight of the NCFE Learner Guide for Remote Invigilation, which can be found on the NCFE website and Qualhub. This will guide you through the process, but more importantly, it will tell you what you need to have in your home to allow you to sit the assessment. For example, a secure internet connection, a laptop or computer and a secondary device, all meeting our minimum requirements as detailed in the Learner Guide. In addition to this, you'll need to have the Surpass Viewer installed on your device to allow the assessment to be delivered. You'll need to have a suitable room and space to sit your assessment, one that is quiet and without interruption, and that you can place a secondary device at a suitable distance to record you. We'll need you to have your ID available and ready so that we can check that it is you sitting the assessment. And it's worth checking that your devices are fully charged or preferably plugged in for the duration of the assessment. There are also specific assessment requirements. For example, you'll need to make sure you have a Microsoft Office package for sitting the ICT assessments. All of this is detailed in the Learner Guide with additional needs and checks, so it's very important you read through that before you sit your assessment. Now you're ready to go. We'll show you how to check it all set up and ready to sit your assessment remotely. Ahead of your assessment, you'll receive an equipment check email. If you do not receive this, Please make sure you check your junk folder and if it's still not there, contact your centre to make sure they've input the correct email address. So here's the email. I would just like to bring your attention to the link to our privacy policy and a reminder to check the technical requirements as you won't be able to proceed through the test of your equipment if any one thing does not function or meet our requirements. Once you're ready, click test your equipment. Microphone, you'll need to speak into your microphone. Hello. Speakers, you'll have to confirm you can hear the music. Internet connection. You'll need a secure internet connection meeting the minimum requirement. There are a number of things to do to decrease the chances of losing internet connection during the assessment, like sit your assessment at times when no one else is using the internet. Make sure your router is placed as near to you as possible and there are no physical obstructions. Restart your router and turn off any other devices or systems that may be using the internet. Help chat are available on each screen and during the assessment for technical issues relating to the recording side of things. Webcam. Your webcam will be needed for the reviewer to observe you during the assessment. Secondary or mobile device. Your secondary or mobile device will be used as a secondary recording for the reviewer to observe you. Install the Proctor Exam app if you haven't got it already, then scan the QR code from the app. Screen share. The screen share is needed to allow the reviewers a review of your assessment access to check that you're only accessing relevant systems during the assessment. All three recordings during the assessment will allow the reviewer to invigilate you after the assessment has taken place. Then once all checks are done, you can close down that screen. If there are any issues during the setup, check the learner guide or raise with your center. You're now nearly ready for your live assessment. As mentioned in the first part of this guide, and as mentioned in the NCFE Learner Guide for Remote Invigilation, you'll need to install the Surpass Viewer, which will allow you to actually sit the assessment. You can install this from the links on your email or search for viewer.surpass.com. On this page, select the relevant link depending on whether you're installing on a Windows device or a Mac device, and follow the on-screen instructions. It shouldn't take long to load, depending on your internet connection. Once it is installed, it'll be saved on your desktop or you can search the Surpass Viewer on your device. Access the application in preparation for your assessment. You'll receive an email inviting you to start the assessment. Again, if you've not received this, check your junk folder and if it's still not there, contact your centre to make sure they've input the correct email address. Now you're all set up and ready following the setup testing that you did in the previous video and as per our first email. Make sure you've removed any watches, sunglasses, headphones or earbuds and have had a comfort break before starting your assessment. You are allowed a glass of water in a clear glass with you during the assessment. Here's the email. Again, I'd just like to point out the link to our privacy policy 
and a reminder that before starting the assessment you must read the learner guide. Once you're ready, click launch your exam now. Reminder screen. Screen share as covered in the setup video. Microphone and speakers check. Hello. Prompt to close all other tabs as you should only have this tab open. More reminders to make sure your environment is suitable and to have your ID ready for the next step. And remember to have all your devices ready and fully charged or plugged in. Take your photo. Make sure your image is clear and central on the screen. Only click take the picture once your face is in the frame and it's not blurred. The next step will ask you to share your ID. This is so we can validate you're the right person to be sitting in the assessment. Make sure you have this ready before your assessment, show it clearly and take a picture. Hold your photographic ID to the webcam. You need to keep this steady. Show your photo and your name on your ID. Any other details can be covered by your fingers. Turn your phone to airplane mode, then reactivate the Wi-Fi. But if you have any apps that may use Wi-Fi for someone to call you, for example WhatsApp, you may want to disable this as if a call comes through during the assessment, the feed will be lost and this could invalidate your assessment. This is so you are unable to access any phone calls but Wi-Fi will need to be switched on so it's advisable that you turn off any apps you have that you can be contacted on through Wi-Fi as if this happens during the assessment it may void your assessment. Scan the QR code on the screen which will link your mobile phone to your assessment. Don't worry when the screen goes off, it's just saving your battery in case you've not got it plugged in. The phone camera will look as if it's switched off, but this is just to save battery on the device. As long as you can still see the feed on your computer screen, that's fine. You'll receive a notification if the feed from your phone fails. You'll need to show your surroundings. The screen will prompt you to which bit of the room you need to show next. Make sure you don't go too fast so the room can't be seen. Slowly, clearly, Watch the feed on the computer screen. You'll be prompted to scan the different areas of your room, your desk or table, and ears. Any materials that you have, for example scrap paper, should be made very clear during the scan. You'll then need to put your secondary camera or device in a suitable place and a suitable distance away. We recommend around one meter, and as long as the camera is capturing you from head to foot and your arms and hands are visible. Make sure your secondary device is positioned so it shows the full side of your body approximately one metre away. You'll need something to rest your device on to keep it in position and don't forget to plug this into a charger. So that's the setup done. You'll now be taken to the launch exam screen. Here, there's a link to actually launch the exam. If clicked, this will take you straight through to the Surpass Viewer application installed on the previous step. Or, you can copy and paste the URL into the Surpass Viewer application directly. Either way, you'll access the assessment in the Surpass Viewer, so you'll then need to copy and paste the key code from this screen into the Surpass Viewer screen. Don't at this point click Finish Exam or your assessment will not be recorded and will be invalid. You will come back to this screen once you've finished your assessment. Again, do not click Finish Exam button. Once the assessment screen is available in the Surpass Viewer, enter your key code and begin your assessment. At the end of your assessment, You'll need to finish your assessment from within the Surpass Viewer, then come back into the recording screen and at this point, if you've used any scrap paper for notes, you must show this to the webcam and destroy them. Then on this recording screen, go to finish exam and this will finish your recording. Finish the assessment first, then destroy notes paper, then finish the recording. If you have any issues during your initial setup stages, please check the learner guide or contact your centre. If you have technical issues during the assessment, the help chat may be able to assist you. If you have issues with the actual assessment, you will need to continue with the assessment as much as you can and report back to your centre immediately afterwards.